Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a part two of my Stephen King book collection. did a Stephen King book collection a little while back and it's the most popular video on my channel and I get comments on it every day <laughs> and it's been highly requested to do a updated version so that's what I'm doing today. It's Stephen King's 70th birthday the day that this video goes up so happy birthday to him obviously like I know he's not watching this but like it's his birthday so I'm like oh my god like I love him so <laughs> anyways go all of you guys go say happy birthday to him because I'm sure you already have, but he's great. So let's talk about all his books that I have. Um, I haven't read every single Stephen King book, but I have read like a decent amount, like a decent amount. So disclaimer, I haven't read all of these books. Another disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag about how many books of his I own. Another disclaimer, <laughs> well I can go on with disclaimers, but I'll still get comments so i'm just gonna leave it we're just gonna get into the hardcovers and get started with this video here i have revival by stephen king this is one of the ones that i have not read yet it's like an earlier release of his and not like super early but it's like um it came out a few years ago and i don't know what this one's about but i heard it's good to go into it that way and i've heard decent things about this and i hope to read it soon i have here is rose matter by stephen king this book deals with an abusive marriage and the wife runs away from her husband who has been abusing her for years and she runs away to a woman's home and it's about her and we follow the husband trying to find her as well and there's a slight paranormal element with this painting so that's really interesting and it was a really good king book i really really enjoyed it it doesn't receive the best ratings but i loved it so yeah it was great i have from a buick 8 and i don't know much about this book but i know it's one of his car books which he has a few of those and i haven't heard much about this it's like i think it has like kind of iffy ratings but i'm interested to see what this one's all about next up here i have a beloved favorite of mine and that is the bill hodges trilogy with mr mercedes finders keepers and end of watch these are crime mystery thrillers and they're more modern releases of his like end of watch came out like last year and they're so good like i love them so much i love the characters i love the writing i love the whole vibe of them they're so twisted and so dark so i would just highly recommend them next up i have here is on writing by stephen king this is his memoir slash autobiography slash advice on writing and this book is really great it's um really well told we hear some of his just his past some of the things he went through and it's just he gives a lot of advice about writing but he also talks about his own experience obviously and because he's such a successful author clearly um like i was super excited to read this and see and i think like it was great i really enjoyed it and i think it offers a lot of insight to people who want to write books and who are interested in being becoming authors and need writing advice so i think this would be great for those people that are writing a book because i'm currently not but this did really like inspire me and i know it inspired so many people so read this if you haven't next up here i have insomnia by stephen king obviously this is a massive one i don't know too much about this at all either um i've heard like okay things about it so i'd be interested to see what you guys think of it so let me know down below um is it like really good what do you guys think of it let me know tick tack tick tick tack tick tack tick tick tack so here i have two books that you can read as standalones like i haven't read them but i've heard you can read them by themselves or like they go together they intertwine somehow i believe but for that i have um the regulators and desperation which i got the same matching hardcovers they're so pretty i really want to read them and they actually see that they join oh my god <laughs> when i saw a photo of it like this i was like they do that oh my gosh <laughs> look isn't it pretty i don't know i was obsessed with it um i've heard you can read it one first one at, or the other um i don't know let me know the best way you guys think to read it i've heard to read um the regulators first don't know if that's right but that's what i've heard so maybe <laughs> 
Next up here I have Hearts in Atlantis and this one I don't know much about either. Basically, um, I believe this one is just um, troops in Vietnam War. Um, in the years between 1960 and 1999, each story is deeply rooted in the 60s and each is haunted by the Vietnam War. So, I'm interested to see what this one's all about. So yeah, play one that I've read, um, The Bizarre Bad Dreams by Stephen King. This is one of his most recent, it, it is his most recent short story collection that's come out. And this one was okay. There's stories I love, there's stories I didn't like. I have a review on it and I'll have that linked down below as well as my whole Stephen King playlist full of videos about him linked in the description box. Um, but this was like there were stories i liked i loved that little kid i still think about that story um there were some i didn't like like blocky billy and stuff like that but i think this has its pros and cons to it i think overall i gave it like a three or 3.5 and this is the only short story collection of his i've read so i'm interested let me know down below what short story uh, collection of his was your favorite <laughs> I have more hardcovers, but they're like buried in these huge stacks that I have. So I'm gonna grab whatever's closest to me. Basically, I buy a lot of copies of Mr. Mercedes just cause it's one of my favorites and I like collecting them, but I bought the TV show copy of Mr. Mercedes. So yeah. And then I bought the whole Bill Hodges trilogy in the mass markets. So <laughs> there's Mr. Mercedes. Finders Keepers and End of Watch, which like I own so many copies of these books. I think I own like five copies of Mr. Mercedes, but I mean it's a fave. So yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. So next up here I have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. This is one that I read like a few months ago and basically it's about a young girl who gets lost in the woods and her experiences there. Um, I really like this one. It doesn't like it doesn't have the best review but I find found that I really enjoyed this one and it was a really simplistic story but it did have some like underlying messages to it that I quite liked so yes. Have the stand which I get comments on every day that I have to read this which guys I just read it okay I'm gonna read the stand soon eventually um <laughs> basically this um I heard not to know too much going into it so I don't know much but all I know is it's a lot of people's favorite right next to it and the shining so I'm super excited to read this eventually and stop asking me to read it guys I will eventually it's fine Salem's Lot and this one I read clearly and I tab like crazy I did this for a school project in I think it was my grade 9 book report so I did Salem's Lot and I read it and I did like a whole page like a bunch of um, essays on it and things like that so um, this one's really good it's about vampires and it's not like my favorite king but it is memorable for me and I did like it you know but it's not my favorite you know what I mean here I have Pet Cemetery, which this one is I don't even know about a pet I heard it's creepy a lot of people talk about this one and how much they're liking it or how much they enjoyed it so it's another one I get asked to read all the time so I hope to read soon guys here I have The Shining by Stephen King which is in my top three and I would love to say it takes the number one place but like I fight over this one in Mr. Mercedes which one is first but it's definitely in my top three or top two so I love The Shining so much and I would highly recommend this especially as like a first or second King novel because I think I read this one second yeah and it was great I love it a lot so yeah oh I also do have a copy of Carrie just it's not here right now so like add Carrie onto this list but I have the little like mass market with the little skull on it the dead zone which I've also heard to read like all of these I get told to read all the time but this one especially which this one is like one of the ones that are in like my top five like Stephen King that I have to read soon because this one I've just heard great things about and I'm just intrigued. So from my last video, I still get comments. Where's it? Julia, why didn't you mention it? Okay, I didn't own it in that last video. So now I do. So I'll show you those. But basically I have the movie edition of it, which I love. I got this for my birthday. Um, I picked it out and I'm like, can you give it to me for my birthday? And I'm just so happy I got this. And it's so cute and I love it so much. I read it recently and I saw the movie. So I have both those videos linked 
down below because I did do videos on those. And then I have the copy I read, which is this copy. And I tabbed it up. It's all tabbed up. If you want to hear my color coding system, then you can check out my review. But yes, these are my copies of it. I love it so much. It was so good, guys. <laughs> I have Cujo, which is another popular one. It's one of his older works. Um, I read... This is like the second King that I read, but that I didn't finish. Um, I don't know why I didn't finish it. Like I kept starting it and then restarting it and then restarting it. So I never fully completed this book. At the time it was too much for me. And that's cause like when I was a bit younger, I had a fear of like a huge fear of dogs. So it's not even as bad. Like I can actually go in front of a dog now before like if someone, if one of my friends had a dog, like I would not go over because like I was terrified of dogs. Um, but yeah, so if you're scared of dogs and you're like terrified of them, maybe don't read this. But from what I remember, like it was creepy and I was liking it sort of. It just scared me as a kid because, well, it didn't scare me. I was just afraid of dogs. So like this didn't help but it's fine. Gerald's Game, which this one is coming out as like a Netflix movie or series or something very soon and or it's out already actually but this one is a um <laughs> Yeah. This one is about basically a husband and wife or their date I, I think they're husband and wife and the husband ties the girl up with like handcuffs her to the bed during sex and then he dies so she's just stuck there it's about that. <laughs> so it's an interesting one. Um, I've heard decent things about it and I do want to read it so I can watch the series. Up here I have the Tommy Knockers. <laughs> I had to say it like that. Um, don't know what this one's about but I've heard decent things. Um, on a beautiful June day while walking deep in the woods on her property in Maine, of course, <laughs> Bobby quite literally stumbles over her own destiny and that of the entire town for the dull gray metal erosion she discovers in the ground is part of a mystery and massive metal objects one that can be buried there for millennial for a millennia bob can't help but become obsessed and try to dig it out the consequences the consequences of which will affect and transmute every citizen young and old it means unleashing extraordinary powers beyond those of mere mortals and certain death for any and all out of citizens and so now i know what it's about I didn't really know before, and now I'm more intrigued to read it because it sounds really cool. So yeah, let me know what you think of the Tommy Nakas. <laughs> I have another copy of The Shining, which again, I love. I also have another copy of Mr. Mercedes. So yeah, and then after The Shining, there is like a sequel. You don't have to read them, and I believe you can also read them as standalones, but it's Dr. Sleep, which I did a review for as well. This book was okay. Um, I liked it. It had its good parts, it had its bad parts. I love The Shining way more, obviously, but it was still okay. And it was a really interesting concept. It had like a cult aspect to it as well. So yeah, it's all right. Next up here for Dark Tower books. Um, I don't have the whole series, but for now I have books one and two. So I have The Gunslinger, which I've read twice now, and The Drawing of Three, which I still have to read. Um, these editions I really like, and I'm hoping to get to this one soon because Oh, wow. Um, I reread the guns, not, this is not the gunslinger. I reread the gunslinger, um, not that long ago for the movie, but then I heard the movie was garbage. And then I heard that the movie spoils the rest of the series. So I'm like, no, I'll pass. So, um, yeah, I have to read this soon because I don't want to have to reread the gunslinger again. Um, the gunslinger was okay for me. It definitely had its flaws, but I heard it gets better. So I'm interested to read this and I keep asking you guys to comment things, but let me know your favorite book in the Dark Tower series. I'd love to know. Everything's Eventual, which this is one of his short story collections that I'm really excited to read actually. And I was going to read it for a readathon, so I tabbed all the stories up and like, I wanted to read it so bad. Um, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I'm super excited to read the 1408 story because I saw the film, um, which I love so much. It used to be on Netflix. I don't think it is anymore, but at least on Canadian Netflix, it's not there anymore. But yeah, so I'm super excited to read this short story collection as well as like 1408, which I'm so excited for. <laughs> Another copy of The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I found this at the thrift store and I just had to grab it because I enjoyed it so much. I also have 112263, which is very well acclaimed um, and is everywhere. And I keep getting told to read this. And I heard um, someone commented on my Stephen King collection, not my Stephen King, my It book review, that the losers all 
the Losers Club makes an appearance. So this just like blew up on my TBR. So I'm so excited now. <laughs> At least I have another copy of Mr. Mercedes in the rest of the series. So I have the Bill Hodge trilogy box set, which I love so much and I got it for a good price and I was just so happy. And the covers are the same, but the spines are not. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm super happy to have this. The Bill Hodges trilogy um, it says all the books, Stephen King, and then it has the whole box set here. So yeah. So much for watching. If you're new here, please be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the description box for my Stephen King playlist of all the videos that I've done from him and let me know if you want to see um, specific videos about him. Like, I don't know, I might do a video of where to, where to start with Stephen King or my top three or my top five from what I've read, stuff like that. So yes, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all very soon with a new video and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Whatever you do in life will be insignificant. It's very important that you do it because